All right, what is up my friends? Welcome to Mod Monday episode 131. That's right, Mod Monday. Let's freaking go. Playing some historic today. Playing a little a Gob Pharaoh's Gift. Gob Pharaoh's Gift, set mana artifact. Beginning of combat in your turn, exile creature card from your graveyard. If you do make a copy of it, it's a 4-4 zombie, but still also has the abilities of the cards as well. And uh, Gate of the Afterlife goes to get it. Three mana artifact. And if a non token creature you control dies, gain a life and then loot. And if you have six or more creatures in the graveyard, you can sacrifice it to go get God Pharaoh's Gift. So, God Pharaoh's Gift, we're playing a lot of goblins and God Pharaoh's Gift. Goblins are very, very adept at getting themselves into the graveyard. And goblins are also good coming back from the graveyard with God Pharaoh's Gift. So, the best card to get back with God Pharaoh's Gift is, well, not the best card ever, but the best card in this deck to get back is Cranko, Tin Street Kingpin, the lesser Cranko. They meant it for a 1-2. Whenever it attacks, put a puzzle puzzle counter on it and then make a number of goblin tokens equal to its power. So as a 4-4 zombie, comes back with haste, attacks, comes a 5-5, makes five, zombie, five goblins immediately, which is awesome. We can also return our missions expert and kill most things, which is great. Uh, Twin Shot Sniper is pretty sweet. Lieutenant's all going to bring back also. And as far as the early game goes, trying to get a new card here from the last alchemy drop in Artillery Enthusiast. No matter for a woman goblin. When it enters the battlefield, you may discard a card. If you do, seek... A card with a mana value equal to that card's mana value. So I discard a two drop, I get a two drop at random from my deck, which is awesome. So always draws a spell, puts cards in the graveyard, that's sweet. Prospector can sacrifice some creatures, firebrand sacrifices, snoop for a little extra value, instigator for some blockers. You get the idea. So we're trying to get God Pharaoh's Gift in play. We can win a regular goblin game too. We're mostly we're mostly trying to get God Pharaoh's Gift in play. Cyborg's got a bunch of, bunch of goblins in it. Uh being able to board out of God Pharaoh's Gift and get more fair goblin cards for against graveyard hate's kind of fun. Uh, a couple thoughts, these for control deck, stuff like that. And uh, seems sweet. Let's go. Mod Monday, brought to you by BCWSupplies.com. BCW Supplies, best gear in the market, not close. Uh, Paper Magic's coming back. Best sleeves, the Elite 2 deck card sleeves. My cube is in these sleeves. All my tournament decks are in these sleeves. Uh, the only sleeves that I use. And, sorry. Uh, and uh, the best binders, that's, that's, that's my deck box. Binders, card sorting trays. If you name it and it comes to card supplies, they got it. Also, comic book supplies and everything else. BCWsupplies.com. Promo code Jim10. It's Amazon off your order. BCWsupplies.com. Check it out. Check it out. Game one. On the draw. A Gob Pharaoh's Gift. Not going to work. Uh, not going to work. Going to mulligan this, uh, this one lander here. That's fine, though. That's fine. Mulligan into pretty good hand. Not great. No one drops, but ship the gift. We got turn two Snoop for a little extra value. We can't just cast Cranko also. It is, it is a magic card you can just play, you know. Another gate, sure. So no one drops kind of stinks, but... Also cool is that the way that one drop works as far as seeking goes. If I discard a three drop, I have a very good chance to draw a gate, which is a way to find gate in this deck, which is pretty sweet. All right, so I mean, like, we're going to cast this uh, Snoop here. It's probably not going to live, but... Give it the old college try. Resolves. Top card's got... <laughs> I don't, don't want that one on top. Sure. That's fine, I guess. We'll see. We'll see. Snoop lives. Top card is land. Man, rough draws. Rough draws. Play land. Uh, we're going to attack. I think we're going to play the gate of the afterlife here. Play gate. And just say go. They could like negate it or veto it, but I think it's fine. If I play Cranko and they wrath me, it's pretty terrible. So, Opinion on Goblin Grenade in Historic. Uh, Goblin Grenade is not legal in historic, I don't believe, correct? I, uh, pretty sure it isn't. Should it be? Is, your, is that your question? Goblin Grenade's a kind of a fun classic card. Play land. Can you please get a goblin on top of our deck? Half our deck is goblins. No, we can't. No, we can't. Attack for two. Attack for two. And I'm just gonna cast the gate again, honestly. Just get gate in play, not get wrathed. We have a third gate coming, so very creature light draw so far, which is a little peculiar. But resolve gate, say go. All right. They have a veto. Land to ferry here would be kind of stinky. Snoop Gub. Why do I talk? Why do I talk? Draw cards, a fairy, sure. Untap two. We get a goblin on top of our deck, please. 
There we go. Thank you. Instigator. Off the top. And Blood Crypt. Sure. And the gates do stack. So, can play another gate. Now we have Cranko. I mean, now we have the gate in play. Playing Cranko is a little more appealing because if they Wrath, I'll, I'll loot a bunch of times with the gate, which is pretty good. Um, what's up, Jash? Thanks, Risa. I appreciate that. Let's just start by attacking. I'm just going to attack the Teferi. Not Verdict, whatever. Wrath of God, Day of Judgment, whatever. I'm playing Modern lately. Um, resolving a second gate is pretty sweet, too, though. Honestly. Let's make him Wrath. I'm just trying to make him Wrath. Play Crank Dog. Resolves. I don't know what that animation was about, but sure. So they play Wrath of God. I loot three times. And we're halfway to uh, activating Gate. Bird. Sure, there's your Wrath. So three loot triggers on Gate of the Afterlife. We're going to loot and discard a God Pharaoh. We guys just cast God Pharaoh's gift. Let's just discard a land. Let's start there. Next loot is a creature. If we draw... We only have one more loot. Let's discard the creature. Loot. Land. Discard the extra gate. Casting God Pharaoh's gift isn't crazy. Uh, it isn't crazy. They untap to... And now we're in, like, not particularly great spot, but we'll see what we can do. They screw up. They misclicked. Oh, no, they drew. Never mind. Untap two. We draw another land. Pretty bad draw to start off our Mog Monday here. Um, we have not drawn many goblins on Mog Monday. Not drawn many goblins. Maybe I should have, but I held the Cranko back. Um, because they might have still Wrath anyway. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Now I just have seven cards. I never, they can never win the game in a million years, but what are you going to do? What are you going to do? They play the Soaring City. That means their hand must be so stocked. It's unbelievable. Firebrand. All right. Cast God Pharaoh's Gift. I'm sure this will work out well. We've got four goblins in the bin so far. Sure. So yeah, definitely not a great draw for us, unfortunately. Goal against them is going to be to do a lot of small ball kind of stuff. Uh, try and beat them in the, you know, the creature, the creaturey stuff. Not rely too hard on our God Pharaoh's gift. We need to move quickly. So like. I think we're just gonna concede. I I can't we can't win this game. So whatever. Yeah, sure. That's fine. So tough first game there. Tough first game. We got now we're gonna bring in our Chandra, our ringleaders, and uh, I think Thoughtseize plays. And the question is, we're gonna shave a God Pharaoh's gift. Take out the snipers, and We want to insulate against Graveyard Hate, but still have the ability to do the Graveyard stuff. I'm going to shave one gate. And... Maybe shave, like, a Prospector or two. I can shave the Artillery Guy, too, also. It doesn't really do a lot for us. So we're not trying to, like... We're trying to, like, make ourselves not as bad against Rest in Peace, but still have game against it, while also being able to play a fair game, too. So... This is fine. I also like don't hate Chain Whirler. We'll see how much how much, much graveyard hate they have for game two. We'll see. We'll see. I'll remind you also follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok. I'm doing uh expanding my social media reach to new platforms, and uh, they're both pretty uh both pretty barren right now. I've not really uh, done too much with them just yet, so not a lot of followers. We got some followers today. That's good. Appreciate that. And uh, you know, magic stuff. Some Karn of the week. Cause everyone loves Karn, of course. And uh, of course, TikTok as well is a little a little more barren. I'm a little a little out of my element on TikTok, so your feedback is also great too. Uh, your feedback is also great too. So, 
All right, uh, on play. What's up, Fresh Prince? Fresh Prince of Bel Air. I love it. Uh, keep. Thoughtseize. Sure. I think we want to play... See, this is a spot where normally you'd want to play this thing and discard the Krenko and try and find the the three drop. But I'm going to Thoughtseize first. So I'm, I'm sorry. I'm going to... I'm going to Firebrand. Let's start there. It's obviously a little annoying that, like, the both these come in tapped, so I can't play two spells next turn. I'm to draw land, but we'll we'll see what we want to do here. Draw Expert. All right. We're going to attack. It's also possible we just, like, Thought Seize them, and their hand's not great. We just cast Cranko and kill them with it. Um, yeah, I'm just going to Thought Seize them. Let's just Thought Seize. see what's up. Their hand is Teferi, Vito, March, Charm, Emperor. They have no current answer to Krenko. And their lands are good. Their lands are good, though. They can't cast Charm off the uh, castle, though. Uh, I'm taking March. I'm going to go for it. I'm going play, play Krenko on turn three. I'm trying to... Uh... I guess they have the Emperor, but we'll be kind of wide at that point, so... Attack... Crank dog. Crank dog, the old fashioned way. So we attack. I guess they can just like play Emperor and exile it, but we have Expert, Firebrand, etc. Which jam here. Ship it, crank out, add a counter, makes you goblins. They're 13. And say go with expert. I'm gonna hold this, uh, hold this thing too. Now, if they go land emperor, exile this, they're still like dying. Not great, not great. I think if we're boarding down on the the graveyard stuff, we probably want to board down on the uh, artillery. Oh come on. That's the card I thought sees. Freaking thought sees bug. They exiled their Teferi. All right, they didn't draw land at least. There's always that. Snoop, Snoop, Gob. Not for land, goddamn. Uh, sure. Attack. They're at nine. Say go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Don't wrath me. Don't wrath me too. I can't take that. Cad! Or called. Resub, thanks so much. Appreciate it. You're great. Untap. Top card is Chandra. Chandra's not a goblin, but that's still pretty good. We just jam here. They Emperor Exile Snoop. Finally, I'm home. Sure. And then we can just expert to kill the emperor. Obviously soft to a wrath here, but we're gonna kill this. I'm just gonna play this. Uh, if they if they if they have if they don't have wrath they lose. If they do have a wrath, then I can resolve Chandra. So it's kind of a win-win. Can I kill the emperor before it can activate? It's an instant speed. Doesn't matter. So. Cool. Game two in the books. That was more like it. That was more like it. Game three. I don't hate Chain Whirler because Chain Whirler actually does a pretty good job of like pressuring their Planeswalkers, just like taking a few points here and there and finishing them off. I think this card's actually bad actively for like we're boarding out on the. Uh, if we're trying, if we're being less comboy, then the uh, this card gets a lot worse. Don't want the third Chain Whirler. Is it better than like? Fanatical Firebrand or Instigator. Let's try the Instigator, maybe. Let's try this. Let's try this. Just another Mog Monday. Uh, this is... It's fine. 
it's we're uh, we're probably gonna lose, but I'm gonna keep this. Uh, turn two thoughts these. Turn three Cranko. We can't mulligan this hand. It's reasonable enough. All right now it's turn one. Sure. Turn one thoughts these. What do you got for me? Their hand is Archmage's Charm. Farewell, Wandering Emperor. It's gotta be charm. It's gotta be charm. So. Land two. They can cycle their farmland. We draw a Skirk Prospecta. Prospecta. Let's say go. If they cycle, they drew land. Okay. So that's probably good for us. Crank Dog is ready to go. Little baby cranky. Portable hole. Sure. That's great. This is not exactly the uh, the cornerstone of our deck here. Play land. Say go. All right, crank dog, go get him, buddy. Obviously, they can uh, emperor this, but I still get two tokens off of it, which is pretty good. So, and there you go. So, Whirly Boy will finish off the uh, the emperor. I like that. Play this. Stack with everything. Why not sacrifice? I want to keep the Prospector under the portable hole. Because... I guess you're right. I guess we're playing God Pharaoh's Gift. Yeah, you're right. I should have sacrificed it. Uh, typically, you don't want to. Because if they want, if they have a way to bounce their hole. Or like, or destroy the hole. You get you get it back. But you're right. We're playing God Pharaoh's Gift, obviously. So I just, I just screwed up. Uh, that was a mental shortcut for... Um, for uh, not playing God Pharaoh's Gift, I guess. For sure. We get one token then? That's fine. Chain Whirler, finish off the Emperor. They still have Farewell. Exiles the Graveyard, too, which is kind of gross, so... For the most part, our God Pharaoh's Gift plan is, like, almost just blank against them. They probably have Rest in Peace also. They have Farewell. They have Counter Spells for the, uh... The God Pharaoh's Gift and stuff, so... What's up, Thumbcut? How you feeling? Slave Aspire? I don't know much about it, so... God damn it. Well, it's very right on time, unfortunately. But we can kill it in theory, so that'd be cool. Um, there's our gate, which is super awkward, but sure. Attempt to kill Teferi. It works. I don't really want to play anything else because... We just need to stay out here. If I play the gate and then when they kill it, I get my prospector, that's not even good. So just stay out here. Farewell. Farewell is a, kind of a problem. Tap land. All right, sure. Land. All right. Attack you. Play land. There you go. So. Oh, gross. Gross card to have there. This thing exiles the graveyard anyway. It's on a, it's on a regular Wrath. And we play Sling Gang like we just lose everything and they go to like 9. That's not really good enough. But they wish there was backbreaking. They wish there was backbreaking. Definitely a, a, a reasonable chance you want to just like board completely out of Gate to the Afterlife for a game 2 and 3 scenario against them, but... Just do nothing. They just have a thousand cards in their hand. All right, sure, I guess. Attack. See what's up. Another emperor, maybe. Shark typhoon for four. Uh, not ideal. Not ideal. So they block. Eat my chain whirler. Farewell is, like, exceptionally hard for us to play around. Not for Chandra. Alright, let's just play, let's play everything. Because now, if they fare well, I, I nug them for six and play Chandra next turn, so... It's a start, I guess. Got a long way to go here. So long, farewell. They also have this Hall of Storm Giants to kill my Chandra, too, which sucks. Yeah, 
So, farewell. Sack it. There should be an option on Arena in the settings uh, for, like, always target your opponent when it says... That doesn't really work. Not, not everything would work like that. There's some way to, like, more cleanly do this. Now I've looked at it a million times. They actually eroded Blood Artist on Arena just so it would do that. This is, like, so annoying. I have to do it, over, like, like, so many more times. So seven. They exile the artifacts. They actually leave the graveyard. One, two, three, four. Because they wanted to keep their deluge. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Alright. So, we're going top card here. We're going top card. Trying a goblin. Ideally. You wanna play with fire, huh? oh, Damn it. This is gonna hurt. So there you go. Yeah, sure, have a thing pop up to the same target, sure. Magic Online has that. Only have four creatures in the graveyard, which sucks. Which really sucks. There are five? Where's Ringleader at, huh? Ringleader would be great right now. Let's see you go. But oh, then I'm on Gate and Gift. Yeah, they probably just valued their Deluge higher. Honestly. Alright, a little bugbear action. Alright, this is bad though, because I was going to flash back the freaking deluge. Yeah, our draws have not been great, um, these games. I definitely think that, like, maybe I shouldn't have played that Cranko into the Wrath. Uh... In that one game, for sure, but oh, they're gonna shark, not uh, not deluge. That surprises me. I guess they want to just close the game before uh, they die at five. I guess they have a lot of cards in there. That's true. That's true. And for five. Alright, I guess. Uh, your turn. Your turn. End step Emperor. I hope you're ready to lose. Guards, to me. Yeah. Yeah, tough match. Tough first match here. Tough first match. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Put a counter on the shark. I have got new moves to teach you. Just fire up the freaking things here right now. Yeah, we're just dead, dude. We should have no outs, so that's fine. All right, tough first match. Tough first match. No worries. No worries. Do I have any six mana uncounterable Chandra? Nah, nah. I love my card, but not here. That's okay. That's okay. No worries. All right, Snoop. Bugbears. Keep. Chances I've been drawing bad all day. We're like doing really well today. We, we've, we've won a, a large majority of our matches, honestly. It's a lot of games, you know? You play a lot of games at once. Some draws are bad, some draws are good. If we had a bugbear that game earlier, maybe. Honestly, maybe. We're only playing two bugbear, I think. Is it two or three? We've got just two. Maybe a third bugbear would be in order. It's, it's, it's hard because, like, you gotta keep your mat your mountain count up for your summits, because we don't have black leaf glyphs. And like that makes things tough. Oh. Hello. Witching well. Witching well. Uh yeah, I mean snoop me up here. Dot guard land. Horrible. That sucks. Now you have actual nothing. <laughs> Oh, I can't even kill the Emery? Oh, no. Alright, well, they only hit a portable, so they, they don't have any, any good to play here, at least. Alright, Sego. This is this hand turned out horribly. It was it started out pretty good, and we've not drawn. Not drawn well since, but... 
Gotta kill Emery. Yikes. Yikes. Nettle Cyst. That'll be a 3-3. Three, three. Neat. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I could just resolve Gate here, honestly. There isn't really a reason to kill Emery, because they have nothing in their good in their graveyard anyway. Nettle Cyst is cute and all, but like whatever, just a few points of damage. Just play this Gate and say go. See what's up. They exiled my creature too. Lame. Lame. Esper Sentinel? Sure. Aether Spellbomb? Sure. That one's annoying with Emery. And Thought Monitor. Alright, that's a pretty good... Pretty good turn, I guess. Things got worse. Uh, things got worse. Land. Okay. So we get to, like, uh, Expert, Stack It, Expert, Kill Monitor, and Emery here. So resolve the expert, trigger the stack, target this, play expert, this one targets here, kill that, kill this, now I can block and loot also, so we got some work to do, we got some work to do, but that one's good, that's a good draw, that's also a good draw. Yeah, uh, that's a pretty good end. Alright, that's not good. We'll block. Get our loot on. Loot. Yeah, Dylan, definitely too soon. Definitely too soon, not cool. Draw land. Draw land. Okay. Sure. Uh, I guess it's your turn. I guess we're dead. <laughs> I guess we're, uh, I guess we're dead. I guess we're dead. Uh, we drew four spells this game? That's sick. That's pretty sick. So we're, like, just dead on board to the Aether Spell Bomb. 9, 10, 11, 12. I guess not quite. Just about dead to Aether Spell Bomb. Alright. Bugbear. Attempt to block. Gonna let me block. Alright. Doesn't count as a creature in the graveyard for gate, but I do get to loot. Go to 12. Loot. Somebody's playing a prank on me. Oh, we did it! We drew a we drew a non huh. We drew a non-land. I gotta play this because like, I need to uh Seek card, mana value, equal to that card's mana value. So seek is zero drop? Okay, sure. Play this. Trying. I am trying. Scar a mountain. We seek a blight step pathway. Okay. Play mountain and say go. We've got one creature in the graveyard. So we just drew our second creature for the entire game. <laughs> They draw two off Witching Well. They play Thought Monitor for one mana. Yeah, we're dead. All right. Tough game. Tough game. Uh, definitely not the best draw I've ever had in our life. That's for sure. Gonna bounce by freaking 1-1? One, one? Sure. They have four cards in their end. And a second spell ball. All right, you win. You got it. You got me. All right, you got me. I give up. I give up. I give up. All right, so uh, bring in Chain Whirlers. And the problem is, like, bring in Trash Master. They're going to have Graveyard. I wonder if, like, the correct play with this deck is just to board out the, the, the package every time. You know? Like... Sniper, Trash Master. Let's see what their deck looks like in game two. I'm going to board out the board out the entire package. Bring in Snipers. And bring in, like, the ringleaders and the Chandra. Let's try this. Let's try this. Let's try this. See what happens in game, uh, in game two here. In game two. Push is, like, okay, but very off -play. Why is Jace so short? What? 
What? All right, sure. Uh, sure. Sure. Firebrand. I get you. Lowercase Jace. Soul Guy Lander. Good job boarding out the combo. Chain Whirler. Sure. Like, there is a lot of graveyard hate in Historic, so just, like, boarding out the package is pretty easy. And, like, they bring in their graveyard hate. You're like, yeah, whatever. Let's play goblins. No big deal. Portable hole on a 1 1. Sure. And Emery. That was really good. That was a really good Emery. Alright, so we just kill Emery here. Nope, not that one. Hold on. Then dink it. And donk it. Ring leader next turn. Witching well. Top bottom. Sweet. They could have nope, they have white up. Never mind. They can't have a metallic rebuke. Ringleader. We hit Prospector, Instigator, two lands. Sure. Attack. Poe just loves throwing a Eldrain. Just love throwing a Eldrain, you know? Even throwing a Eldrain lands. Are you, are you a good Witching Well or a bad Witching Well? Emery again. Mill over some cards. Emery has plenty of options. Lantern draw. We've got Den of the Bugbear. Another Chain Whirler. Ooh. Um, Bugbear is 3, 6, 7, 8. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. What do they got in the bin here? What do they got? They got Nettle Cyst. What are our, like, other options aside Bugbearing here? It's like Snoop, Instigator, Prospector. Let's, um... Hmm. What are we scared of here? Like Aether Gust, like maybe Metallic Rebuke, Snoop Instigator Prospector. I doubt they have a Wrath in their deck. I'm just gonna attack. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play a play of spells here. Start Snoop. Like if I go for the Bugbear and they have like a, a Gust or something like that, it just sucks. I resolve instantly. All right, sure. Instigator Prospector. Wrath me. Wrath me. Rebuke seems somewhat likely. Sigh. Alright. Be a real shame if I had a way to kill some 1-1s. One It'd be a real damn shame. Darn Mind Goblin? What's Mind Goblin? Emery back the portable hole. Sure. And uh, this is all fine. Eat my stoop. No problem. I think they're just dead, right? We should have Chain Whirler kill the blockers. We can even play through it a rebuke and lantern again, sure. Whatever. And uh yeah, they're just really, really dead. Really, really dead. So you get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. One whirly boy. Gobble these chains, please. A gobble these chains. Still a piece of garbage. What do you got? Whoosh. Tag with everything. There we go. All right, game three. Game three. Opponent brought the graveyard hate. We said, LOL, we have no graveyard cards. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? What is that on the... Uh... Right here. My cup? My cup's on camera? Wow. Really gotta get this thing set up right. Get this thing set up right, you know? Thoughtseize, Fatal Push. 
We have four snipers and four experts and three chain whirlers. Seems pretty good. Seems pretty good. No, we're not, we're not, we're not changing back. We're staying exactly where we are right now. Staying exactly where we are right now. Gob Pharaoh gift. Mog Monday. Let's go. If you're just tuning in, this is Mog Monday. Show up the goblins every single Monday. Episode 131. 131 weeks in a row. We've done Mog Monday. Every single freaking Monday. Historic Gob Pharaoh's gift. We're doing it. As for Sentinel. Don't care. Don't care. Firebrand. So yeah. We got Chain World and Mop us up later, so no 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 uh no rush to kill that. Emery, sure. We'll see what they mill here. Mill portable hole, portable hole. Alright, we gotta kill that. So that, that's gotta die. Pay two. Being on the play here. Or I'm sorry, being on the draw. I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm just saying. I'm just making shit up. I'm just, I'm just saying words that make no sense. Land. Sigh. Master Thopterist. Not just any Thopterist. The Master Thopterist. Oh. Still a piece of garbage. The Trash Man. All right. So. We, um. We're not really in like a huge rush to kill Psy. We can just kill a Firebrand if we want to. But I kind of want Firebrand available for next turn to double up on our Chain Whirler activation. Um, huh. Huh. I kind of want to just kill the Psy, honestly. Yeah, I'm just going to kill the Psy. I don't love it, but I think it's fine. Let's deal three here. And one here. Just take it out. Say go. We got a Whirler next turn to kill Sentinel. Maybe something, maybe something else. A Mind Stone. Mind Stone in these nuts. No? No one? Fine. Whatever. Um, Just attack. Probably should offer the trade last turn. Because now I'm not going to Chain Whirler because they have my hyper have, have Cup, so I'll stop with the trade. Got him! Instigator. 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 Trash Man is ready to mop up here. Ready to mop up. Because he's the Trash Man. Yay! Oh my god. One Whirly Boy. Thought Monitor. That's a somewhat expensive Thought Monitor. I'm sure. Do we like... Do we Chain Whirler here? Yeah, we just Chain Whirler here. Because Trash Master is great, but we just want to kill everything with the Chain Whirler, so... One Whirly Boy, please. Whoosh! Talk of everything. Now they have one artifact in play for future, uh... Artifacty things. Size good. Soul Guy Lantern. All right, that's fine. It's fine. It's important to note though that the Trash Master is also a Lord. Shadow Spear. It's a card. It's a card. Let's see if we have this anyway. Doesn't matter. But because he's the Trash Man. Yay! Oh, the trash man. oh my God! Now what? Pack it up. Pack it up. Get out of here. Get off my plane. Get out of here. Taking out the garbage. I'm starting with you. That's it. Mog Monday. One and one. On one and one. Taking out the trash. Let's go. Goblins. A goblins. My opponent's name is Klingon. No! <laughs> Alright, hands great, keep. One drop, two drop, gate to the afterlife. It's weird because like if we're gonna board this out most of the time, it's gonna feel like we're not playing Gob Pharaoh's gift kind of thing, but like that's might be the right way to like right way to play the deck though. Just get your game ones in. 
and then board out the uh, graveyard stuff. Not hard to do. On Holy Heat, that's a great exchange for us. We enjoy that. That's a good trade. That's a good trade. Artillery Enthusiast. This card has not been very good so far. Uh, sure. Instigator. Making goblins, they go. Because we need to draw lands, it's not very good, but Instigator. That's fine. So we can do that now. So, I, I mean, I think they're playing Phoenix. I don't really know. I play gate and they counter it, it kind of blows, but whatever. All right, resolves. Cool. Cool. Now next turn I can uh, artillery the instigator for a two drop. It's not bad. It's not bad. Floating Scott. Crackling Drake. Crackling Drake's good. All right. Artillery. Discard this. Get another one. So it's actually actively good. It's the goal is to put things in the graveyard, so... Uh, we're just gonna attack. That was actually a mistake. I should not attack with, the, with this one one, because if it dies, I don't, I don't get anything. But, man, we suck. <laughs> we, draw a lot, we draw a lot of lands today. We draw a lot of lands today. Alright, so, play lands, they go. Now we're at three creatures in the graveyard. So only counts non-token creatures. That was a mistake. I should not attack with this. Play looting, alright. Discard Phoenix. <sighs> All right, discard Phoenix. Phoenix, sure. I imagine those are coming back this turn. Looting, please discard Phoenix. Phoenix, just do it. I want to see a four spot. I want to see a four spot. I want you to do it. Nope, land, land, sure, sure. Gonna kill the. Oh, it exiles it. Oh no, it exiles it. That's so lame. Alright, uh, let's draw Skirk Prospector. Can we do that? Draw Skirk Prospector? That'd be sweet. That actually is the same on oh, our no, one short. We need to draw a creature, but we have no, we're just dead. So, I'm going to kill my own Instigator, which will loot me two cards. Gain a life, loot, discard a creature. Nope, that's God Pharaoh's Gift. All right, and then kill this. Draw a creature. Any creature to activate. God damn. <laughs> so I now have five creatures in the graveyard. Count them, five creatures in the graveyard. Double whiff to the creature, half my deck is creatures. Oh, man. Oh, a little, little, run, little run cold today here on Mog Monday. Uh, running a little cold today. <laughs> Man, rough, 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 rough. And now it's dead. Like they have, I can't imagine they don't attack for almost lethal here. And the problem is that like, even if we get Godfarer's gift in play next turn, we can't stop the three flyers. So then a bugbear is a creature. Sometimes you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Uh, all right. I think we stay Godfarer's gift against them. I doubt they're gonna have that much removal. Or graveyard hate, I mean. So, we're gonna bring in. Um, I don't think we're gonna change much, actually. Sniper. I guess sniper comes back as a four four. I can block flyers, which is kind of cool. That's the only card I'd be like mildly interested in. I think I stand bat. Oh, yeah, we're, we're playing. 24 lands, that's reasonable. It's not a reasonable amount of lands, I think. Run it back. Run it back. We're good. We're good. We're good. It'll all even out. It'll all even out. Enthusiast has not been great. I agree. It has not really been that great. Um, the real draw to it is, if I discard a 3-drop, I have a good chance to get a, a, a gate to the afterlife. But it has seemed kind of a sketch. 24 lands. 24 lands. Maybe 24 is too many. I don't know. Like, you want to hit your land drops, you know? This sounds good. Keep this. Fire brand. Fire brand. Fire. Fire, fire, fire. Remember, folks, schedule. Come on, things coming up. 
We're doing a Karn IRL stream today after Mog Monday. Karn IRL stream. And uh, Paper Magic Date Night on Wednesday. Big announcement. Friday set review. Saturday community game day. Sunday, me and Nicole go on a cruise. We're out of here. We're out of here. Spire Bluff Canal. No, that link should not be there anymore. I just haven't gotten rid of it yet. Tag for one. The Dark Nemesis sponsor stream is done. We did a great job. Got 408 downloads. That's why we're doing the Karn IRL stream today. The uh, Did a sponsor stream recently if you missed it for Dark Nemesis. And uh, did a lot of bonus, uh, bonus goals for that. And we're doing a lot of those this week. Uh, community game day, Karn IRL stream, me and Nicole date night stream. Uh, I've already done a bunch of them as well, too, so. Shock and a land. And say go. So this is like a negate, maybe? Attack with my crew. Drew a backup copy of gate, so it's not like that bad. Attack step. Attack. You gonna negate me? Maybe. Consider. Consider me this. Front page will be 10 new Bruce. I applied for front page for 10 new Bruce. Should be a lot of fun. We got set review on Friday. And then it worked out perfectly where like this, this, this cruise is pretty cheap. And the cruise lines up exactly between the release of the full card list and the actual release of a set for new Capenna. So I, I do set review. I leave two days later, go on the cruise, come home. And that week is the, the 10 new Bruce. And Bronson Mythic and everything, so. Cast Looting. We have one creature in our graveyard. Discard two Phoenixes again. Why not? Why not? Bottom. And Pillar of Land to Exile. No! Stop exiling my goblins, for God's sakes. For God's sakes. Earn three double Phoenix. Ugh. You're just, you're just killing me here. You're just killing me here. Snoop, give me a goblin, please. No. No. BTM will start, uh, yeah, as soon as I possibly can. Probably that weekend, yeah. I gotta do Bronze Mythic sooner and get it done faster. The ladder resets, I think. Um, I'm gonna start Bronze Mythic on Sunday. On Sunday, the first. Right after the ladder resets. For God's sake! Do I think SG pulled the plug too early in competitive content? Maybe. Maybe, honestly. I don't know. Iteration's pretty good. Uh, I think we're just dead here, unfortunately. We don't really beat the Flyers that well. And, like, this is just, like, a really fast hand. Looting again. Sure. Sure. The Burbs. The Burbs. Discard land, land. All right. Could have been worse. We really just can't find, like, spells. <laughs> like, I don't know what's going on today. Like, there's a spell. So, we play Enthusiast. Our top card is a Prospector. We actually, like, actively want to keep... Oh, Seek isn't Shuffle anyway, so... I'm going to discard the Gate, try and get a Goblin, right? Get a Cranko. Oh, there's Cranko. Oh, we're about to go off, folks. It might not be enough, but we're about to go off. Okay, so we're gonna play land. Sack this. Loot. We're at a hazard. So right now we have one, we have two creatures, two creatures in the bin. This is three. I'm going to stack the board. Loot. Loot. Discard Cranko. And then sack this. Loot. Discard land. Because I can, in theory, like, recast the God Pharaoh's Gift. Fizzle that. 
loot. Discard. Have I played a land yet? I don't know if I played a land yet or not. I have played a land. What do I play? Put a mountain? Alright. That's kind of a tilt, I guess. I didn't need to do that, obviously. Uh, I, I actually just hard cast God Pharaoh's Gift if I had not played a land yet. Uh, Alright, let's record a pathway. Did I miscount? Oh my god, I, I never drew a creature. Oh my god, are you serious? We need to draw a creature in one of those draws, and now he can't activate the god. <laughs> There's no goblins in my god pharaoh's gift deck. Oh, I'm done. All right, we're dead. What a tilt. What a tilt. Oh my god. I, if I had, I guess I punted, because I knew I had this in my hand, and I could have just sacked this for mana and cast it, uh, and just hard cast it. Uh, I just, like, I, I just thought we were doing this. I, I screwed up. I screwed up. I should have just sacrificed this and can't hard cast it. Gotten back Krenko. Gained another life. Or had this, I, I would have gained life. Well, whatever. Alright, fine. You got me. You got me. We might have still lost the game anyway, honestly, because the Flyers might just get us in two turns, but... Ugh. Oh, Ugh. Oh. We got this. I'm not worried. I'm not worried. It helped if I got out and pushed. I'm not worried at all. Where are my lands? I never draw lands, ever. Well, again. Oh, just kidding. Yeah, I do. All right, so keep this. Yeah, it's still good. Stoop's obviously good when you're flooded, so. All right. All right, so. Snoop Gob. Prospecta. Pawn's playing frickin' Merfolk. Pawn's playing frickin' Merfolk. Please, God, I can't go out like this. They're gonna conjure a tropical island. Exiling a breeding pool, sure. That's an, uh, that's an upgrade. Breeding pool, tropical island. We draw a gate. That's a good draw. That's a good draw. Snoop, top card's Firebrand. Um... Yeah, that's fine. Let's take a... Hold the diver! What's up, holy diver? How's it going? This is this opponent implying that Merfolk are better than goblins? Or do you want us to deal with them? We need to, need to, we need to do our thing. Alright? I just want to do the thing. We've not really gotten to do the thing yet, so far. Uh, the match we won, we, were, we weren't really doing the thing. I just want to do the thing. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Add up to your... We got Firebrand queued up. We got Gate of the Afterlife queued up. I imagine they're not attacking. They're going to attack. All right, sure. There's Crank Dog. Okay. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Um, huh. So, Gate. One, two, three. It just comes down to, like, how many goblins are on my deck. In theory, we could gate to the afterlife this turn. We play gate. We, like, sack Snoop, cast Firebrand, loot. Sack Firebrand, make mana, loot. Sack Prospector, make mana, loot. There need to be, like, two more goblins in the top, like, three or four cards of our deck or something like that. That is pretty greedy, though. Uh, I could also just cast Krenko. Um, which does get us deeper. Oh, man, this is tough. This is tough. What do I do here? What do I do here? I think I just cast Granko. Top card's a land, sure. So we probably would have bricked if our top card being a land. So we'll just play Cranko and say go. With the intent to maybe block and trade, if not just sack it next turn. Yeah, we're at 18. We have plenty of time here, I think. Freaking tropical island, folks. There's a tropical island in play. Botanical Sanctum. Go on, my fishy friend. What do you got for me? A merfolk mist bender? Alright, sure. I 
I think we're on no blocks. So I wanted to have it in play for next turn, so. And play a speaker. Okay. And, uh, top card is a Sling Gang Lieutenant, which is a pretty good one. Playland. Play Gate to the Afterlife. Play Firebrand. Um. Just start looting, I guess, right? Sack, uh. Sack Crank Dog. Loot. Top card's Gate. That sucks. That's two in the bin. Sack Firebrand. It's three in the bin. Loot. That's good. Instigator's good. Two red in the pool is perfect. So I get to discard a land. Cast Instigator. Another gate, sure. Sacrifice Instigator. That's four in the bin. Loot. Discard gate. That's four. Sacrifice Snoop is five. Loot. Discarding another gate. Or another land, I think. Yeah. And then tap, sap, prospector. That's six. Loot. Discard another instigator. That seems good, I think. And let's do it. We did the thing! We did it! Get the one out of our... That's our deck, in our deck, in our search our library. You'll get the God Pharaoh's gift. Move to combat. Get Crank Dog. Where are you, buddy? There you are. Attack for five. Make five Goblin Tokens. How's that? We did it! We did it! What? 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 Sorry, I didn't see you there. Blocks, whatever, sure. Alright. Next turn, we can uh, get back our Sling Gang. We can get back a Snoop. We can get back lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. And if we draw a land, we still have six for Gate. Because I, I started that extra card. So, any land is another God Pharaoh's gift, which would be the best possible. Zodiac Resub, thanks so much. Just silver go at us. Wait, where are my chain rollers at? Huh? Where my chain rollers at? Uh, artillery enthusiast. That is not exactly what we're looking for, but it works. It plays. So we gotta go play another gate. Play artillery thingy. We go to combat. We get back sling gang here. It's a four-four sling gang. Everything attacks. They dubs block the 4-4, four four, and I sack the this thing to get a little more trigger action. What's up, Finn? Thanks for resub. You're great. You're great. Dubs blocks. Target you, sack this, loot with the gate of the afterlife. Discard another crank dog? Hell yeah! There it is. There it is. Pass the turn. Kill your stuff. This is the game we're watching. And unfortunately, it looks like we're dropping frames and no one can actually see it, but that's okay. My YouTube folks can see it. Every once in a while, YouTube gets to see things that Twitch does not, you know? Usually it's the other way around, but. Arisery. We're getting back Cranko and Snoop, probably. Oh, you're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Tap something? Yeah, whatever. Untap a land? Sure. I guess, like, now they have a lot of X2s, but we're just going to have so many ones, I don't think it matters.
Hello. Attack. Bold strategy. Great. Firebrand. Also great. Actually a great draw. Uh, all things considered. So, activate this. Search my library. Get a God Pharaoh's gift. Play this. Move to combat. We're gonna get ourselves Crank Dog. We're gonna get ourselves Snoop Gob. Top cards Cranko. Attack with everything but Firebrand. Ship it. Time for Trickster. What am I gonna do? You know, like Trickster's a one turn, one turn reprieve. One turn reprieve. Crank dog. Look, look at this Cranko. Look at this Cranko. It's a good Cranko. It's a good freaking Cranko. There we go. Okay. Blouses. We did the thing. We did the thing. I am the smart. I am the smart. SMRT. All right. Uh, whirlers in. Twin shot snipers in. Definitely a question of like if they're gonna have graveyard hate or not. Um, I would say I want to cut a Gob Pharaoh's gift. I think I want to cut the enthusiast also. So now like we only have five cards in our entire deck that care about the graveyard. These cards are obviously like pretty freaking bad if uh, we're not God Pharaoh's gifting. I have these pushes too. I guess I want the pushes also. In which case we're cutting. Maybe like shave a Krenko. Maybe we'll shave a land. I'm a draw too. I think like we should draw a lot of lands. Let's try this. Let's try this. Let's go. Let's go. Now our chain are nice too. We have a lot. Of, we have a lot of kill spells too. A lot. Of, a lot of kill spells. Push whirler gate. Sure. Great. Wonderful. Good hand. Keep it. Keep it. Doing the thing. Command a speaker. Yeah, sure, whatever. Not quite Tiger Curd Ape, but you know, it's okay. I'll allow it. Speaker again? Alright, sure. Shadow Spear. Shadow Spear? Okay. Chain Willer number two? Alright. I mean, it's like fine, I guess. Go on. Tell me more. This binder. Sure. Play fish. Fry fish. I think we're playing a naked chain whirler just to play some defense here. Land tapped. Go. Firebrand. Uh, nope. Now we're going to play gate because now we can go fire, firebrand plus chain whirler next turn. So play gate. Say go. Now they play a lord. I can go... Chain Whirler and then Firebrand to finish it off and then get a loot off the gate too, which is great also. So, guess like a company here could be bad for us, like a good company hit. But, first strike plays around Shadow Spear. That was good for us. That was really good. So, Silver Gill draw a card. It's a card that dies to Chain Whirler. Be super heads up to oh my god. Oh god. And a little more on top. A little more on top of that. In case that wasn't enough for you. In case that wasn't enough for you. Loot. Discard. I mean like. I think I discard a land here, honestly. To keep my spells. You know? We're not trying to like turbo gate or anything. Now what? Now what, opponent? Huh? Reachery. Yeah. Yeah, do your thing. Crank dog. Ooh. Floating Scott. Good old Scott. Um I only have one goblin in the graveyard. 
All more goblins are living. They're not dying. They're just living. Uh, I mean, I guess it's just sling gang, right? Just sling gang, say go. We've got good blocks here. We're not in like a huge rush. Sling gang can help make the graveyard happen for gate. Um, Territory of Merfolk. Only one card left in hand. Shadow Spear, sure. Like, I'm totally happy just to block here and trade, obviously, with the, uh, the gate in play. Like, this is actively a great trade for us. Tricks? No? No tricks? No tricks, Kirk. I give two minutes to the captain of the Enterprise. No! What's up? Aether Gust? That's hella rude. Or should I sacrifice it? Sure, it's fine. So, target you, sack this. Loot. And discard Crank Dog. Sack this one too. Now I need to find another another creature or two. We only have three in the bin. This is four, this is five. We're close. We're close, but not quite there yet. Almost there. We're almost there. Move Spear over, sure. Untap and draw a Munitions Expert. Ho! Bingo. That was a good draw. That was a great draw, honestly. That was, that was like the best possible, all things considered. Kill this. Sack it. Loot. Draw. Discard. What are we at now? One, two, three, four... Sure, whatever. Discard this. Just sack the sling gang. We're a little all in here, but we're looking pretty good. Loot. Discard blood crypts. Crack the gate. And let her rip. Search library. Get God Pharaoh's gifts. Move to combat. Get crank dog. Do the thing. Feels pretty good sometimes. Feels pretty good sometimes. Tied for five, five tokens. Pretty powerful. And of course, they have to answer it, or it'll make six next turn. So, it's a fun emote. The sand people. Um, it just sling gang. We just killed them, right? So, like, this game's just already over. Don't concede, please. Don't scoop. Don't scoop. Don't scoop. Don't scoop. Don't scoop yet. Don't scoop yet. We're not done here. We're not done here. Merfolk Trickster. Trickster targeting Cranko. So lame. Alright, sure. Sure, whatever. You got me. You got me. Attack with everything. What do you got? We got a block. We got a block. They're just like dead, right? Like I think they're. Dead. I think I have, I have eleven goblins in play, right? We have six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have, we have like thirteen goblins in play. They're just like dead, no matter what. Actually, these aren't. These aren't actually goblins. These are actually only zombies, which is kind of amusing. Uh, God Pharaoh's gift actually removes the type, but they're letting the damage through anyway. So. Uh, yeah, that's 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 death. That is death, my friend. Siege wine our resub, thanks so much. Upstairs, finish it off. Call it a day. Tandy! Tandy Mamandy! What is up, Todd? How's it going, my friend? You're tuning in, folks. It's Mog Frickin' Monday, the show we play goblins every single Monday. Episode 131, a gob pharaoh's gift. 
which originally was a Pioneer deck when I first built it uh, here in Historic. And uh, we're doing the thing right now, if you are just tuning in. Uh, the goal of this deck is to get a Krenko off of a God Pharaoh's Gift. It comes in as a 5-5, making five tokens. And uh, we did it. We did this game. We did it. We've won every game we've played today. Every single one. Now, we're having fun. We're having a good time here playing some goblins. And I uh, played a lot of magic today so far. And uh, we'll play one more match now because of the raid. I was going to stop. We'll do one more match. And then after that, we've got a special bonus for y'all. Special little bonus. It is a, uh, it's going to be a Karn IRL stream. One of the bonuses we had for our sponsored stream we did for Dark Nemesis, where we're going to be spending about an hour outside with Karn, just playing stick stick and going on a walkie walkie. And uh, you all can all watch that. It'd be a lot of fun. So let's keep going here. One more match. Gop Varos Gift Mog Monday. Let's rock and roll. A little gooblining. A little gooblining. Also, folks, uh, follow me on new social media platforms. Uh, Instagram and TikTok. I am I am new to these platforms. There's Karn. Uh, follow me on Instagram. Follow me on TikTok. These are new platforms for me. I'd love to hear your feedback also. I'm trying to expand my horizons here as a content creator. I'd like to hear what you, uh, what you like and what you think and so on and so forth. So do it. Hit the buttons. Let's go. Keep. Everyone loves Stick Stick, right? Shatter Skull. This card's pretty cool. So, new card here, Artillery Enthusiast, gonna be doing exactly what we wanted to do here, where we get to play it. The goal is to discard a Krenko. You discard a card, and you seek a card of that card's mana value. So, I'm gonna get a random card that costs three of my deck. The only cards in my deck that cost three are two more Krenkos and four Gate of the Afterlife. So, a good chance to tutor for Gate here. Here we go. Tutor for Gate here, just like we drew it up. There you go. There you go. Croxa. This is fine. I mean, obviously we actively want to get creatures in our graveyard anyway, so that's fine. Avafan says, you put on a nice freaking show, man. Such a fun and dynamic stream. Aww. Thank you so much, my friend. I appreciate that. You're great. You're great. Would you sling bang, Lieutenant? Sure. Uh, let's tap this. Firebrand. Ship it. Just like, don't thought seize me. You know? Or braid me. Or soul guide lantern me. Or... Inquisition me, or go blank me, or anything else. God damn it! What did I say? <sighs> Alright. Um. I, uh. I think we just, like, just, just dump this plan. And just go for a sling gang and just try and kill them, I guess. It's gonna be so hard to uh, to rebuild, so whatever. You got me, all right? You got me. Opponent's being hella rude. Opponent's being hella rude. Why you gotta be so rude? I wanna use my graveyard too. Thanks, Bacon. And again, it's your first time here. My name's Jim Davis. I'm a full-time content creator. I've been full-time now for like five or six years. Pro Magic player for much longer than that. And I love you all. You all great. I love you to have you. Happy to have you here. Liliana. Waker of the Dead. So I discard my one card, draw the land, obviously, but this is like not that bad. They're at 14. They're pretty far from casting Croxa. You gotta just attack them. Like, please, like, whatever, right? Obviously, Sling Gang is part of our plan there, and losing it kind of sucks, but. They're gonna discard a card, sure. They're still a ways off from, uh. From, uh. From, uh, we got, uh, Quarian in chat. Was our last opponent with the Merfolk player? Yes, our draws are very good that game. Come on, will you stop? Leave me alone. All right, so they call against command me, discard my instigator, sure. Sure. All right, so we attack. Just trying to finish things off here if we can. Go blank is kind of lame. There is a lot of main deck graveyard hate in Historic. It's a very graveyard-centric format. Uh, so, on, oh, God. Hello, darkness, my old friend. You think too much. Damn it. What's this do? Many for combat your turn, but a creature on the, on the battlefield that gains haste? Alright, I think they got us. I think they got us. Play sniper, poke ya. Got it all here. Massacres and discard spells and everything else. <sighs> 
So they get to Croxa every turn? Croxa every turn, huh? The Go Blank Meat Hook Massacre deck is pretty good against us. Uh, well, they, get, they get my cards too? That's bullshit. <laughs> That's my freaking sling gang. What are you doing? Can't do that. Can't do that. What's up, Dark Dubs? Dark Dubs says, didn't realize you had hidden freshly brewed uh, on my VODs and members for YouTube. Yeah. We do bonus content on YouTube also for uh, pile drivers and subs. That's uh, right here. Bonus content. All my deck builds, pro tour testing. It's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Sack my goblins. We just can't ever win. Like, what can we draw here? I guess we have four goblins in the graveyard, but they're gonna like pull the gra the goblins out of my graveyard slowly. I have to come back them. But they mean that means they can just like hit my sling gang every turn. Yeah, we're good. All right, you got me. All right, you got me. You got me. Main deck go blank. Take it easy. Take it easy. <sighs> Main deck go blank. All right, so we're gonna uh, board out the combo because they have graveyard eight and board in like Chandra chain whirlers. Uh, ringleaders, maybe some snipers and some fatal pushes. I don't think I want thoughts against them. This is fine. Let's do this. Try this. Try this. Pawn's a real hater. Hopefully they'll bring in Leyline into the Void, Relic of Progenitus, Soul Guide Lantern, um, I don't know, Tormod's Crypt, Nile Spellbomb. I have those cards probably aren't in Historic. Ugh. Oh, I'm gonna keep mulling. It's a thing. It's a discard. Thoughtseize deck just sucks so much. There's gonna thoughtseize it. I'm gonna feel bad about life, but whatever. It's fine. We'll call this a tilt keep from last game. We'll call it a tilt keep. God, oh, they, they didn't thoughtseize. Wow. Okay. Usually, turn one swap means they're gonna cast spell. So that means they have fatal push for sure. Don't want to wait on the snoop. Don't want to wait on the snoop. I kind of do. Kind of do. I'm just say go. Okay, okay. I've dabbled a little waste knots myself. We have, we have a tiny bones deck we've played on stream a lot. All right, I see how it is. I see how it is. Is this a discard? It is a discard. It sucks. All right, uh, let's play Snoop. We have a lot of ones in our deck, so I guess less than we did before. There's a one. There's a one. Look at that value. Look at that value. Attack. All right. I'm gonna hard cast this freaking thing. Whatever. Yeah, right? I, holy die, but for sure. For sure. A uh, little respect to Ains. Little respect is back here. And uh, we, we, got a, we got a chain whirler on top here. All right. One whirly boy. Kill poor tiny bones. Kill tiny bones. Aww. Sorry, folks. Sorry. Our tiny bones like is mono black. But splashing red for Crocs and Coligan's command. It kind of makes sense. Top card is a Cranko. All right. So... I mean, can't play that right now, obviously, but it's fine. Our, we're doing pretty good here. We're doing pretty good. Next turn can be Cranko plus Expert. Crocs Daddy. All right, so if I discard a creature, if I get a zombie, this card will end anyway, it doesn't matter. So they get two black mana off, Waste Not. Pretty fun card. I'll be doing a cool stuff video on my Tiny Bones deck soon. Hashtag soon. And they're gonna kick Blood Chiefs first. Yeah, whatever, sure, it's fun. Top card's Prospector, sure. Top card's Sling Gang, sure. Listen, that Snoop's doing... Snoop's getting the work in this game. Snoop's getting the work in this game, and I appreciate that. Um, we're gonna... Don't want to clear my top card here, or no? I don't think I do. I can just, like, stack two goblins and play this, just have a new card. But... I think drawing this next turn is, like, actively just fine. So, stack as I go. Tiny Bones... Freaking tiny bones. Okay. Well, we're going to sack a, a good amount of goblins here. Um, we... I might just go all the way, honestly. I could sack the Snoop and leave. Whatever I leave, I'm going to end up with just a Prospector anyway. So is it worth it to deal like some more damage and keep... I guess I'm going to keep this, right? Sure. Let's Sling Gang. 
Let's sack the Snoop. Leave the, the Sling Gang. And just... This is fine. So they'll, they'll go even. I keep the Prospector. And we'll just keep on playing. Just gotta keep playing our game. Just gotta keep playing our game. Get in for one. Play this. We're gonna go Instigator Kingpin here. I think so. I think so. They are... Not quite there on Croxa just yet. Crank Dog. Instigator. That's odd, odd, even, even. They have more uh, extinction event action. And I can also expert them too. Expert whatever they play if I have to. Just another Mog Monday. Cranko Token Fun Day. No? Nothing? Hello? Where are they? Where are they? Tiny Bones! What's up? Swamp. Field of Ruin me? They can field me and then uh, play Croxa, which is kind of annoying, but... Let's see what they do here. Get a mountain. And we're one short of killing Croxa with a goblin. That sucks. Pass the combat. Sure. So they cast Croxa. I discard the expert. That's still good though. No, because then I, I crank go. This is fine. This is good. They get a 2 2 off of this, but whatever. Discard. Dis discard this. Get a 2 2. Untap. Draw Prospector. Just send it all. Just send it all. Just send it all, whatever, yeah. Send it. Legends. Expert. I ain't no expert. I'm just hurt. Get off my plane. Alright. They block one, take four, go to six. And hopefully not an extinction event. Although extinction event won't kill Krenko. It's one or the other, so. They kill Franco or all the all the shitters. So, don't don't hook me, please. No hook. Don't don't give me the hook. Please please don't. Sure, that's fine. Which is it? Sure. They have a, a push for my Cranko Also, I'll be pretty sad. I'll be pretty sad. What? What is this? I'd never seen this card in my entire life. Zerzoth Chaos Rider. Three mana for a 2-3 Legendary Devil. Whenever an opponent draws their first card each turn, if it's not their turn, you create a 1-1 Devil token. Whenever one or more Devils you control attack one or more players, you and those players each draw a card and then discard a card at random. Okay. <laughs> what? Sure. I, what? What is this card? Firebrand. Sure. What are they at? There's a four. Um, your opponent draws the first card each turn. If it's not their turn, make a devil. Yeah, Yeah. right? I'm happy for them or sorry for that happened. <laughs> I, all right, I ain't reading that. Zuraza. I'm reading all that. All right. We um, attack with Krenko. And, like, they probably won't block. We just kill with the Firebrand, so... Right? Yeah, they're just dead. I'll take it. I'll show you a Devil Token. Get out of here. Get out of here. So you get nothing. There we go. I know it's from Jumpstart. But I, it's just a weird card. Just a weird card. All right, so they're actually playing, like, literally playing Discard. Um, they didn't have any Graveyard Hate that game. Perforos, new sub, what's your name, where are you from? Thanks, I appreciate it. Um, do I want to, like... Because I have, like, no idea how many go blank effects they have, you know? Like, they had zero graveyard hate that game. So, like, what if they only have, like, two go blanks or something like that, you know? I don't want Thoughtseize against them, do I? Do I don't want these pushes? I don't know. I don't want to. I don't know what I want against them, honestly. Um, 
I would say, like, and killing tiny bones is kind of important. I do have four snipers and four experts, though. Seems like overkill. So, like, maybe I want to bring in, like, gate, 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 gift, shave, like, like, firebrand actually seems pretty bad against them. Could do something like this, maybe? Um... They played a lot of cards again, that playing a graveyard card. Let's try this. Let's try this. I would like to get him with the old God Pharaoh's gift. I would. I really, really would. I'd like to do it for y'all. So we're going to juke back into our graveyard deck and get freaking pummeled by it. They're going to like lay line of the void. They mulligan. They're going to keep. We obviously also showed them zero graveyard cards that game too. So mulligan six. Swamp, nothing, go. We draw our gate. I don't have lands here, but we'll try and make it work. Croxa. All right, Croxa. Goodbye, Cranko. Start there. Start there. And we drew, we drew a land. All right, we drew a land. There's your token. Massacre for one. That could have been worse. That could have been worse. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. We're just jamming it. We're just jamming it. Don't abrade me. That's two in the bin so far. And they're playing Soren the Mirthless. We draw a non castable card. Sure. Chain Whirler, tag the Soren. How dare you disrespect? How dare you? Freaking, uh, freaking uh, socialite. I don't know what word I'm looking for here. Passage, crack it. Croc says a long way to go. We're gonna top card to land. Lucky. Dire times call for dire uh, Elvias, yeah, sure. Definitely. I can do that. Send your list over in chat. Kick Blood Chief's Thirst. Sure. Loot. We're getting closer. We're getting closer. That's it. That's the six goblin. That's the six goblin, folks. We did it. Um, is Crank Dog in there? Yes, he is. We can go. We can't go Chandra and Firebrand and everything, but we can go Firebrand. I guess I poke Soren again. Oh, actually, we're we're gonna crank out kill Soren. I think so. To shoot you. Chandra mana. We, we need enough mana to cast Firebrand and activate Gate, so we're one short on Chandra. And we're going to discard a land. Activate Gate. Get Crank Dog. Here we go. Crank dog, come on down. Do your thing. Do the thing. Do the thing. Save a line, Bart. Play a little noise here, huh? Come on, I can't Now what? Tiny bones. Uh I've got cards in my hand. We also have a chain whirler and expert in the bin. Uh and Sling Gang. We can just Chandra kill this, I guess. Let's go to combat and get back. Probably Sling Gang, honestly. Oh, I should have killed this pre combat. I'm stupid. I screwed up. Um, yeah, they have Crocs the next turn. Yeah, I made a boo boo. I made a boo boo. It's okay. Um, I'll just get Expert and kill it, I guess. Get Expert. Just kill the Tiny Bones. Meet of Massacre, yada, yada, yada. Attack for a million, yada, yada, yada. We'll play Chandra, kill this. So they go. They've got nothing but a Crocs in the bin. They can cast it, but like, it's not even good. So they're just drawing to a Massacre or an Extinction Event here. Extinction Event, these actually have mana values. So 
event on evil wouldn't kill us. That's what I'm talking about. There it is, Mog Monday. Oh, that's fun. That's fun. This is good stuff. It's a lot of graveyard hate in the format. Obviously, it's a little, a little bit rough here and there, but we did it. We popped off. We did the things we wanted to do. We had a great time. Episode one through Mog Monday, and uh, let's take a look at the deck list. If I can find the, where's the deck? Let's. I don't want to see stupid horse deck. I want to see freaking Mod Monday. What is profile? It's not loading. Oh, there it is. So all in all, we went three and two or two and two? It's three and two. It's three and two. It's still loading. It's still loading. Loading that last matchup here. Uh, but yeah, that was really fun. The fact that the that the, uh, the combo is like so compact and we can board it out is pretty sweet. I'm not going to lie. You know, this is mostly just a, a deck full of like reasonably good goblin cards. Um, and then you kind of work all the God Pharaoh's gifts, and you can board it out if you want to. Deck's fun. Deck's fun. Would like to have lay a little bit better lands, obviously. Um, and then Cyborg was pretty good. The Whirlers were great. Ringleader was good. Trash Master was good. Chandra's pretty good also. Deck's sweet. I don't have to tell you. It's Mog Monday. It's a fun deck. We won some matches, had a good time. And, um, download on taps. Use the link in chat. Affiliate link, all right? Um, we keep going, but YouTube folks, love you. Like, comment, subscribe. You're all freaking great. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Mod Monday. Oh, I'm paused. Oh, mother. I never <sighs> Thanks for watching, folks. Appreciate it. You're all awesome. I, uh, I, I, I went back for you. All right, YouTube. I want you to know I went back and I re-recorded the last match for you. I didn't record it, but I put in the extra work. I love you. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks, YouTube. Appreciate it.